Hello everybody, it's Adam here coming back to you from Houdini 15.5 and today we're going to learn how to attach a head to a body to form a character. Uh, let's go ahead and pop out here. This is the body we're going to use, the McDougal's employee. It's licensed CC0 and if we take a look at it in Blender all I really want out of this guy, we can go over here and just kind of turn all the eyeballs off We'll turn the body on and we'll right click to select it and we'll look at the subsurf. If I press Z I can see the uh, subdivision detail. So what I did is I just dropped this down to one and this gets the uh, quad spacing much closer to the pig head that we're going to use inside of Houdini. So let's go ahead and jump back into Houdini. Uh, I'm going to press tab and type geo and press the I key to dive inside. Now we already have a file so let's go ahead and browse out and choose, uh, turn off show sequences, choose this torso I exported from Blender. Accept and there we go. Now in order to attach the new head we have to remove this head so I'm just kind of holding down the space bar, right clicking middle dragging, left clicking, just kind of lining the head up so that I can get a nice selection out of this. And uh, maybe out to here, somewhere around there. I'll press the S key. Now if your um, type is not set to primitives, go ahead and click primitives and then we'll draw a box around this guy. Say somewhere around there. Now I'll space bar around and we got a lot of extra here in the back so I want to remove some of this along the back. Now selection tools are kind of uh, nice here in Houdini. You can see I'm getting a highlight if I'm just moving. If I were to click I would select one of those and watch what happens. We lose everything so I'm going to undo that. But you can shift click and you notice the minus appeared. The shift will add to your selection, and then the control, which is the key right below it, will su subtract. So I can click along here and remove these, but there is a faster way. You can hold down the A key and notice this. It's, I'm just moving my mouse and it's selecting everything along that loop cut, and then if I click once it's going to remove them all. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Control click, hold down A, move over here. And let's start thinking about, yeah. So the opposite is true as well. We can hold down Shift and press A and add to our selection. Notice the when you're adding it's blue, when you're subtracting it's red. And this blue line only can go so far. So I'm taking it as far as it'll go and I'll click spacebar around. And we can do the same thing, Shift, A. We've got all that. Shift click A. We got all that. Space bar. Whoop. Undo. Space bar move. So shift click A. We've got all that. And shift click A. We've got all that. And uh, let's look at all that. Now one thing I think that's going to work. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll make it work. We'll click the delete and that will get rid of it. Blast. I, I'll rename this so we know what it actually did. Blast head. Now while we're here in select mode, let's press the S key again and we'll switch to edges and we'll select one and then I'm going to move to this next one. Uh, hold down A and then middle click and that will give me the entire ring as a selection. So that's a nice little tip and I can go ahead and go to model and choose group and this will be called um, body neck seam and we'll name this as well body neck seam. So our next task really is just to add the head in and the head that we're going to use is built right into Houtini. So we'll just press tab and type the word pig. It's the test geometry. You may have played around with this or seen it in other scenes. Um, and we'll go ahead and visualize that so we can see it. And one thing you'll notice immediately is that it has, it's fully textured, which we don't want. 
And you might be wondering, well, how is it textured if it's just a, a node with no material or color? Uh, we can take a look at that by splitting top bottom. We'll right click on that, turn it into a geometry spreadsheet and activate primitives. And you'll see we have this shop material path. So I want to remove that. I'm just going to drop down an attribute delete. And then for primitives, I'm just going to do a star and that removes it from the attribute. And now it's not in my viewport anymore. So I should be able to get a nice looking connect color connectivity between the two parts. Now returning to the test geometry, we're going to set the difficulty to hard. And what that does is it opens up the bottom and makes the features of the pig a little more detailed. Uh, I think we're going to have to remove some of these faces here. So we're going to do the same trick we just did on the body and clean this guy up a little bit. With this node selected, we'll press the S key, move back to face selection or primitives, click, uh, move over here, A, middle click, and that gets the whole loop. Then we do shift click, still holding down shift, A, middle click, shift click, still holding down shift, A, middle click, and we'll do the same thing. We'll just say delete, and we'll call this uh, uh, next neck extra. Spell that right. So we threw away some of the extra neck, and then we'll also do the same technique with the S key. Switch back to edges, and we're going to select that one. Move over here, A middle click. And once again, add that to a group and call this um, head, neck, can't spell, head, neck seam, head, neck, seam. So at this point, we need to merge these two together. But before we do this, we, and well, we'll drop down the merge and it'll show us the initial problem we're going to have. So we'll drop down our merge here, activate it, and you can see we've got a warning because a mismatch of attributes. And that mismatch is causing this head to be black and the body to be white. So we want to fix that by dropping down another attribute delete here on the body side and let's figure out where it is. It's on points. It's this N. See, if we look, middle click on this, we can see we have a P and a UV. So we need a P and a UV here. So we're going to remove N from points. So we'll do capital N. And now our uh, pig is the same color. The head is the same color as the body. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, I think we're going to have to tr insert a transform here. Right click type transform and uh, we can now move the head up and into place here. So this is getting close. I'm just kind of wheeling around here trying to find a nice fit or, or a good resting place for where the head should actually be if this were like a person's a pig man's body. I would think it would want to be somewhere around there maybe. And one thing I can immediately tell is that I've got this gap is kind of wide here and we need to pull this front down a little bit. So we can pull this front down by just um, dropping down a an edit node and we'll just select the point here. I'm going to visualize the edit node. And if we notice our group is blank. Now, because I still have this S key selected, I can click here and that transfers that number right into the group, sets my group type to points. And then I'm going to crank up soft radius, which we will see in here as a uh, kind of gradient color scheme. And you'll notice that this is kind of, it's the gizmo is aligned to the face normal, the normal of the face. And what I really prefer when I'm working in the viewport, I'm going to right click on this, is for the handle to be aligned to the world. 
So we're going to move that. That way I can just pull it directly out in the Z and know that that's what I'm getting. I'm going to pull that out in the Z and then go back to my merge here. And maybe I can pull it down in the Y too. And just try to find a way to get this stuff closer because we're going to use a poly bridge on this. And the more you can help out your tool beforehand, the better off you'll be. I'm going to pull this up just so we're not concaving the chest too much. And then maybe we can go back to our transform on the head here and uh, kind of tilt it up a touch like that. Maybe knock them back a little. Pull them up. There we go. Something like that. And let's drop down our poly bridge. So, so we've got a poly bridge and we'll connect in our merge and we'll populate the node here. So we want to, our source will just be the body and our target will be, destination will be the neck. And what that does, let's visualize it, is it creates this um, kind of twisty tumble effect of a connection. And if we were to take our transform here, I'm going to copy this to the clipboard so I can return to this location. Um, but if I move this up, you'll see how the poly bridge actually works. It's just, it's almost like a twisted ice cream cone or something, which I don't really like. So we need to straighten that out a bit. And I think we can do that here by going to pairing and choosing linear. And now we get a straight cut there. And if I return to my transform and paste this number back in, not too bad. It looks like, however, there are some extra numbers. And these are the divisions. So I'm going to drop divisions to one. And that gets me a little closer. Yeah not bad at all. So what you can do at this point is you can just drop down a sculpt node and uh, let's drop down a sculpt node and kind of smooth that out. I connect that in and visualize it. And the way the sculpt node works, we'll close this guy out now, is you have a brush which self aligns to the angle of your face, see? So you don't have to worry too much about, it's not a projection technique of like some softwares use. This actually adjusts the brush to follow the contour of the model surface. So with that set up, um, we're gonna right click and choose what our two brush operations are. Basically we have left mouse and middle mouse. So middle is set to deform and left is set to deform, which kind of are bad defaults. So what I do is I set left to smooth. And then if you use the shift, hold down shift and left drag out, you can adjust the radius of your brush. So I'm gonna make it just a tiny bit smaller and then I'm gonna just click and drag. And what that does is it just kind of smooths things out. And let's just keep going, follow around. And we're actually moving that loop cut seam here. And this guy needs a lot of help back here, but you can see it really does help out. And you can pull down along a seam. And as long as you follow the flow, you can help straighten out um, your faces basically so that your textures will flow a little more straighter and truer. Yeah, you'll get a better uh, render in the end if you take the time to kind of smooth this stuff out. And uh, that's basically it. At least all I wanted to cover in this quick tutorial is this is how, let's drop down one more thing here, a color node, and make sure that we were getting, say our pig was pink. And there we have it. We have a head attached to a body inside of Houdini. And with that, I'm out.